Monday night, I Monday think. night. Well, there was some left Monday. Well then. But now, now it's Thursday. we are here, and it's Thursday, which means this is TC Music. Music. Well, it is April. It's the middle of April, but you wouldn't know it because of all of the snow that happened well, this isn't week. Isn't that fun? But fun. I just want to let everybody know that the snow season has been declared over. It finished this afternoon when my snowblower died. <laughs> so that was the end of your snow we season. We can rest of us have may not be no so more snow because <laughs> I cannot deal with it and it's over. I know, I did not appreciate having to get up and shovel this morning. But you know, I got a workout in, so you just gotta count your blessings, I guess. Yeah. But even though it is all wintry out right now, we're all used to it, which means it shouldn't hinder you from going out and seeing some of the great shows and activities going around the cities. Nobody's right now. going to be going out camping at night, so you have lots of free evenings to go out and see music. So true. Like tonight, for example, Consensual, our very good friends Consensual, will be playing at Caboo's. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. I remember that. So you go ahead and oh. check them out. And also, later on this evening at 11, Step Rockets is going to be playing a free show at the Kitty Cat Club. So That's go down and do that. That's a place. It's a lovely place. Step Rockets for free doesn't happen every day. It does not. So very special. Very special times. Next. Next, yes. first what I want to say is that this guy, this guy right here who got a huge spread in vitamin this week, Prof, is back in town. He just got back from all of his crazy touring all around the nation, and he's back, sold out two nights at First Ave, which is totally awesome. So I love him. I had the opportunity to be in a music video with this guy <laughs> back before his tour. He's such a genuine guy. He's just Funny awesome. guy? Funny, just down to earth. So good. You don't find that in rappers very often. So if you get a he's chance. He's not angry. He's funny. He's not angry. He's Yay. funny. It's so true. I love so that. So if you get the chance, by all means, head on down and try to pawn some tickets off of people that are actually going to the show because you did not get your tickets soon enough. <laughs> and that's not my problem. But uh, it is my suggestion that you go check it out anyway. Now, also on Friday, yes. the Walker Art Center did bring in Fatamata Diawara. Which is very yes. exciting. She will be at the Cedar Cultural Center at she 8 p.m. Is from just about everywhere, everywhere on both sides of the Mediterranean, and uh, gain, has gained recently a considerable amount of notice in what is known as the world music scene. At any rate, she is something uh, to catch. That is something you will not want to miss. Cedar so, Cultural Center. Cedar Cultural Center. We also have the men at 7th Street Entry. That will be at 9 p.m. We also have two cellos at the Dakota Jazz Club. That will be at 8 p.m. And some of my favorites, Rocket Science and Ladies of the 80s will be playing Friday and Saturday. They have gigs going on. I know some of their dancers very personally, and they just put on a really fantastic show. So if you like the 80s, go check them out. They will be Friday at Main Street Bar and Grill, and then Saturday at Max Bar and Grill. So go check them out, because they're fun. I, yeah, see, I wrote down phosphorescent on Friday, but that's sold out. You might go try and wedge yourself into the it turf club for that. Akron and family at the entry on Saturday. Oh, dear, oh, dear, there is so much. Oh, 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 oh! What? Drive across the river to the only East Berlin we have left at Station Four on Friday is oh, yeah. Pagan Fest. <laughs> Maybe.
maybe not for me. But It'll be fun. Yeah. What else do you have for Saturday? Do you have anything? Oh, there's a bunch of ongoing stuff. If you will remember our last show, Spank is still running. That's Penumbra Theater's first <laughs> offering in some time. The uh, Soap Factory is running ah, yes. R.U.R. Rossum's Universal Robots was a 1921 play from Czechoslovakia, and they have named a an important show after that. Oh, Fridays, every Friday, Cornbread Harris at the Loring Pasta Bar. Every Tuesday is the Corey Wong Quartet at the Artist Quarter. Great. Up and coming major jazz talent. Uh, Sundays, 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 Sundays at Famous Dave's. It's the open blues jam with Moses Oakland, who has been in town, left town, got famous, come back, come down to Famous Dave's on Sundays for that. Crash and burn. This is a pretty neat thing at the Acme Comedy Club. Four of their mainstay comedians get together in the afternoon to write an hour of new material that they have to stand up in front of 300 people and perform for the first time. They're running that through the 13th at Acme. And we have something called Mr. Man at the Southern Theater. That'll be going weekends mostly through April 28th. It's a very curious bit of theater involving one guy on stage interacting with a lot of recordings of memories from his life and trying to reconcile the whole shebang. We do That's have a ton of I theater got. things happening right now. It is theater season, is, is it not? This is a theater And it's like town. Guthrie's 50th, isn't this it? This is an amazing little piece so of So you want to check out everywhere from the Guthrie to the Cowell Center, all around the block. We've got great dance and theater things going on. So check out their See, website. This is our only problem here. We could tell you what's going on, but it would take longer would take so long. than we have. But I still have lots of music. I have two sheets, so I need to keep going. Okay. It's Saturday. Go, go, go. Okay. I, I talk fast. I can do this. <clears throat> okay. So Kevin Bowie and Okama Profits will be at Astro Cafe right below us here. Right below. And yes. PM, yes. which is yes. awesome. And they are Freddie I know Johnston's backup band when he comes to there town. There you go. Yes. I did not know that. Yes. But I know Swizzle's really excited about this. Rufus Wainwright is going to be here at the Fitzgerald Theatre yes. at 8 p.m. on Saturday. Loudon and the McGarrigal Girls, little boy. I don't have any idea what that means. <laughs> but I'm sure it's important. Anyway, it's so over Tuesday. Tristan Prettyman is back in town. I did happened to catch her when she was at the Orpheum a while back with the script, but she is back. She'll be at First Avenue on Tuesday, and Suicidal Tendencies will be at Mill City Nights on Tuesday as well. Now, Next. I really like that we've started throwing these. I think that's really fun. So Wednesday, Chris Allen is back. I know you haven't heard much about Chris Allen since American Idol in, what, 2009? I want to say, oh. but he is back. He has a second album that's out, and he's going to be at the Cedar Cultural Center on Wednesday. And yeah, it's a place where you can really see somebody. I like that. Yes. Yeah, it's a great venue. Sunday, the 21st. We're just going to keep rocking and rolling. We have Kivi and Prey, who is Sarah Prey, who I met through Essential Session Studios. That's where I recorded my last two singles. So I love them out there. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to give them a shout. Kivi and Prey will be at the Amsterdam Bar and Hall, another great venue Saint that we Paul, Saint love. Paul. Beautiful. And Monday, the 22nd, the Lone Crows will be playing at Honey because it is Tim's 21st birthday. So that's going to be really exciting. So happy birthday to Tim on the 22nd. That's all. <laughs> Next, what we have here. Our very own, Our very own. little knob twirler and a slider pusher. <laughs> the man who has, for no identifiable reason, been making this show sound great for how many years? We won't bother to say right now. We're hearing 14. 14. 
you start with number two? <laughs> <laughs> two thirds of that young man's <laughs> life. <laughs> At least. But before we get to these lovely people behind us, we have Indeed. a little clip. Indeed. Now this is only, we've only been here 14 years. The show has been here a little longer. Yes. And just to let you know, what it was like once upon a time, we have uncovered a dusty piece of footage from the 1st of December, 1988. Some of you out there will remember a band called The Wallets. Their leader, Steve Kramer, dropped by TC Music one night long ago and brought with him the video to a song some of you may have heard called Totally Nude. That's, there we go. And, uh, <laughs> it's pretty wild, it's pretty crazy, it's pretty madcap. Um, just a couple of quick questions. What's your favorite food? Um, sushi. What's your actually. favorite book? Um, God, I don't know. Um, Storybook, novel? Um, detective nothing. novels, actually. Detective? Yeah. Agatha Christie's? No, there's a Dutch writer, Jan Willem van der Vettering. <laughs> He's <laughs> really good. Does he write in Dutch as well? He are you does, bilingual? These are all tra no, these okay. are all... Uh, no, I think he writes in English. Okay. So sushi's your favorite? You like Dutch uh, mystery novels. What about your local band? What's your favorite local band? What's the um, one to watch? Um, you know, I really the um, Beat the Clock and Toe Jammers and uh, God, there's a million of them. There sure are. There's a lot of talent. Yeah. That was Dave knocking over one of the monitors in here. He's doing that all night. I just can't. Get, um, favorite movie? Um, Do you go to movies? I just, God, I used to, yeah. I haven't gone for so long. <laughs> I've been so busy painting, but. I can't think of one. for wallet songs or uh, for for wallets fans. What's your favorite wallet song? <clears throat> what goes over the best? Yeah, what's your totally favorite? nude? Still, people want to hear it. Always, always. Yeah. Favorite nightclub in town to play? Um, that's really a loaded question. Yeah, I know. Uh, I, don't, I like them all. We'll pass over that. Favorite opera? Um, I only know um. God, I don't know. What's that one? Diff later mouse. I know that one. Wagner. What yeah. is what composer? Favorite composer? Um that's one minute. One minute Thelonious. Thelonious Monk. Thelonious Monk. Another jazz great. Yeah. Sax. Have you seen Bird yet? I Clint haven't Eastwood? seen it. That no. might be worth seeing. I've heard it's amazing. They took original Parker tracks and, and EQ'd out the rest of the band yeah. and made over new tracks. There's a write-up in the latest Mix magazine about yeah, all that. Yeah, the sound is supposed to be incredible. Um, we're going to be going to the Wallets video pretty soon called Totally Nude. This is, uh, what year? 87? Or 86, even? God, it might be 85. This video was done Could in it 85. It's a real teaser, it so if you have young children in front of the TV set, you might want to cover their eyes or turn them around so they face the coffee table or make them go get popcorn for you. And we're going to go now to the Wallets. Totally Nude. La la. la 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 They walk, they talk, they shimmy to the music, they hip, they hop, they move, they groove, they shiver to the rhythm, look out, they're totally new. They're waiting for you. They break, they shake, they bend way back and bump their bodies. They slip, they slide, they fall on the floor. Look out, they're totally nude. Are they ready for you?
last chance to see the Wild Time. Uh, New York's are up next uh, Friday, December 9th. Some international magic square is going to be a huge Christmas party day. And our farewell day is uh, January 23rd in Augusta. Everybody tune in for more details on these upcoming wall totally states as well as Steve Kirchner's future. Well, no, I'm way... Yeah. See? That's us again. <laughs> now we can finally talk about the lovely people behind us. Oh, okay. I'm excited. Yeah. It's always fun to hear from one of our own, don't you think? It just goes to show that there are lots of people in this area... And like Mr. Kramer, they are multifaceted individuals. Yes. And for my money anyway, this is the kind of person that makes really interesting music. A lot of people can pick up an instrument and sort of learn their way around it and do some things. But a really creative mind to me is very frequently indicated by somebody that explores a lot of different areas and you'll find people like Steve that do cartooning and do their own video directing and they make music and well it just helps with it enhancing all of those creative mm, entities if you dabble in something else we got to we'll have to talk to our Aaron here about how <laughs> things went from one thing to another but this is the guy who makes TC music sound the way it does. And on the side, or I don't know what comes first and what comes second, I bet you it's hard to identify, he also makes music. I want to hear some. And we've finally gotten a chance to put him in front of the cameras instead of back there in the control room. So before, without any further ado. I think so. This is Pocket, pocket Full, full of, of Change.
Today's news is tomorrow's trash. Today's news is tomorrow's trash. Pick up pieces and I'm for him Today's news is tomorrow's trash Today's news is tomorrow's trash Today's news is tomorrow's A one, two, a one, two, three, and
back home where I belong. Once upon a time, we love it.
broken dreams Wonderful. We've got some instruments switching up and while, everything. I love that last song. Oh, yes. I loved it. Technical considerations. This is pocket full of change. Pocket full of change. A change. Oh, it's an A. My, it's an A in there. So, They're tricky. So <laughs> wrong. Well, well, well. What are you doing? Where did this all come from? Puck full change. It's uh, <laughs> something that started in 2008. Uh, it was an alt country kind of project and uh, evolved into what you see today. <laughs> uh, how many originals? Who, who started at the I, alt country project? I did. I did back in 2008. So. <laughs> and, and you are? Uh, my name's John. You're John. I'm going to okay. step back here too. So. I'm just like in the middle of everything. Can you go through some Which sort like. of, of uh, evolutionary history, or is there anything to say? Well, um, yeah, Brad and I, the guitarist at the end, uh, we've been playing together almost, what, 20 years? 20 years. 20 years. And uh, we started playing a lot of acoustical stuff, and that's kind of what I uh, like, my forte or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, and uh, with the alt country project that was more electrified, and now it's evolved into more of this acoustical, uh, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I like that sort of thing. I'm really tired of labels. There are so many. Usually, a label is is established by somebody is established by somebody that really shouldn't even be talking about you. And you didn't have that in mind when you started, right? Nope, nope, nope. Just want to do something that was original and. And so, uh, just started in 2008, and this is what we got today. Well, let's Speaking go around okay. and do some introductions Let's quick. talk to everybody. Let's do that. Hi. Hey. Okay. I'm Lizzie. How are you? <laughs> That's Lizzie. Well, we know this guy, but you guys don't. We I'm know this guy. Hey, guys. This is our 14 years of great sound right there. Yeah. Right there. Yes. Hello. Hello. I am Brad. That's Brad. Brad. Yeah. So we've got long-term connections on all ends here. Yeah. That's great. So how did Lizzie come to be here? Uh, I got dared to be in the band, actually. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a story behind that. Please Everybody continue. Everybody got lucky, but how? <laughs> well, I, I had moved into this new location, and one of my neighbors is like, I'm in a band. And I'm like, I'm sure you are. And, uh, <laughs> so... Um, yeah, eventually it came about that uh, I believed him that John was looking for a singer, and I said, okay, I'll give it a whirl, and now here I sit. So, so how long ago was that? Yeah. That was a year and a half ago. All right. Yeah. Good. Almost a yeah, year and a half ago. It's working out just <laughs> fine. First time ever in a band is exciting. Yeah. Well, we're happy to have you. Uh -huh. Great. Let's, let's find uh, the, the other... The other Old standby member, guitar, mandolin, bongos, how much else? Uh, I play drums <laughs> and a little bass. Good. We need to talk after and this. The pan so okay, the we pan can do that. And the pan flute. I like flute. to play music of all sorts. Can't forget about the pan flute. Uh, no. no, I won't do that. <laughs> I draw the line somewhere. <laughs> but you never know. Have you tried it? I haven't. I did try the mandolin. Uh, I, I played a little bit before uh, John and I uh, started, and I seriously took on the mandolin about two years ago. So I just for this mostly, for, just for this project. Yeah, mm -hmm. I kind of dabbled in it a little bit here and there, but I picked it up just two years ago just to yeah, it just, it just to add an instrument. We were doing, so. Two guitars gets boring. Wanted something <laughs> interesting. Although two gu guitars can be fun at times, like this next song. Like the next song. Ah <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh -huh. 
So, so this was supposed to be original and all. How much of this is m original material? Uh, oh, everything okay. tonight is original. Do you have a couple of choice covers that you like to do, or uh, we do? We're working on several right now. <laughs> we'll have to check on that later on. Who writes? Does everybody get involved in the creation? Mostly John and a lot of the lyrics, but we. To start with, but lately we've been collaborating as a group. Um, that broke the promise of song, the last song we played, mm -hmm. kind of a collaboration effort. I, I wrote the lyrics and some of the music, and Brad came up with the riff to start it. And, and, uh, Just developed as a group. It's always nice to hear people get along well enough oh, yeah. so we can throw an idea out and everybody gets a say. Yep. I think that counts. I guess. Not every idea that anybody has is going to be great. No. But if you bring tweaked. more people in <laughs> and throw more ideas throw into the, the pot, <laughs> you got a better chance of having some good ones in the, in the mix. Yeah. Well, we just get together uh, and we have fun. That is the most important thing. You don't have that. That is the most important bother? thing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so where can we find you guys? I know that you're online. I know you have a website. So, pocketfullofchange.com. Excellent. Oh. They've who got some the, videos who does up the there. Web yeah. design? Well, you know, we put our videos online, and the funny thing is, the website just materializes. You know, it must be magical music. Great. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> um, so. Aaron, you've been with us for a long time as Mr. Technical Genius. Yeah. Was your musical self just hiding out all this while? Yeah, you know, um, back when I was growing up, played the trumpet, used to play the old orchestra hall things and that, but I uh, just kind of went the engineering production way for a while and uh, been kind of getting back to my bohemian side, playing <laughs> in bands and music, so... Oh boy, look out, what's happening to him next? <laughs> you gotta add need another a instrument here. In band, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're real glad that you decided uh, to go back to music and uh, bring it here mm -hmm. for us. Um, recording? Anything? What's the plans? What's next? Well, we probably have uh, right now, what do you think, 40, 50 takes of every song? It's just a matter of doing some more and keeping going until we get what we like. That's yes. where we're kind of at now. We did a studio project about, I mean, about a year and a half ago, um, but from it's evolved, our sound has evolved so much from that stuff we recorded in the studio, and that was before Aaron joined the band, that I think we're just going to start from scratch. So... Doesn't doesn't hurt to have an engineer in the band, does it? No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Two of them, actually. Aha! Uh -huh. Another secret weapon. Yeah. Boy, we are we are wealthy, are we not? So, if people want to book you for any kind of event or festival or what have you, where can we find you? Is that uh, just through the website? Yeah, there's uh, or uh, book, booking at pocketfullofchange.com. So. Awesome, because we want to see you guys get out there. Yep. You're, you're, you are indeed available. Oh, yes, we are mm -hmm. very available. And summertime <laughs> is coming, so we've got all these music festivals and things, so everyone keep that in mind. Coats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that couldn't be more true. Shall we hear some more? I would you love got to any hear more? some more. Oh, yeah. We already changed up instruments and everything, so we're ready to go for we are. round two. All right. Round two, more pocket full of change. Oh. Oh. I'm just going to take that with me and, and check the credits. All right. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, once again, pocket, pocket full, full of uh, change. change.
What kind are we living today? Hey, hey. What do you think they'd say? Cheated 
can't live without you. Couldn't live without you.
have another beer What do you say? Open up and listen to what I have to say yeah. I'll listen to what do you say